Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain on objective questions and answer for material science and metallurgy. And this is a part number five, and that will be also considering as a most important 20 question list, which will be helped to crack GAT examinations, UPSC, GPSC, and all the government examinations. So let us start with a uh, part number five. So the question number one, what is first steps involved in the process of preparing test sample for microstructure examination? Option A, rough polishing. Option B, fine grinding. Option C, fine polishing. And option D, itching. So basically into the first steps involved with this process of preparing test samples for microstructure examinations and that will be fine grinding. So let us see onto the different steps and starting with uh, selecting a uh, representative samples, then sectioning of the test sample, then if it will be the requirements of the hot mountings and cold mountings, then starting with rough grinding, then fine grinding, rough polishing, fine polishing and finally etching. Says from the given options like fine grinding, rough polishing, fine polishing and itching. So the first steps is fine grinding. So just you can note down for the first steps involving into the process of preparing test samples. So that will be fine grinding. So option B. Then next question. Which of the following compound is used for fine polishing? Option A, aluminum oxide. Option B, nitric oxide. Option C, silicon carbide. And option D, iron oxide. So basically the powder form of aluminum oxides, which will be used for fine polishing process. So that will be also used for surface treatment processes. So the right answer is option A, aluminum oxide. The next Etching of specimen is done to achieve option A invisible green size, then option B visible green boundaries, option C toughness, option D hardness. So basically etching of the specimen is done to achieve visible green boundaries. So that will be the last steps involved into a microstructure examinations. So by this etching process that grain boundaries which will be present into the structure that will be corroded and by this method so you can see steps specimen is done to achieve visible grain boundaries so the right answer is option b then next question which of the following methods of ndt requires leak proofing of castings before inspection so option a impact test Option B, visual inspection. Option C, sound test. And option D, pressure test. So basically for leak proof, the pressure test used on castings required to be leak proof test. In this methods, all the openings of the castings are closed and then gas with the high pressure is introduced into in it. So if the castings is having a porosity or you can say any kind of material defects, then it can be detected by leaking of the gas into the water when the castings is submerged into the water. So the pressure test that will be used. So the option D. The next, which of the following non-destructive testings is used to detect change in compositions of any materials? So option A, liquid penetration test. Option B, ultrasonic test. Option C, radiography and option D, eddy current test. So the radiography that will be used to enable us to detect change into the compositions and this radiography test that will be used by X-ray or you can say gamma rays are used into uh, these techniques. So with the help of radiography testings, it will be used to detect change into the compositions of any materials. So the right answer is option C, radiography. The next. Which of the following characteristics is mainly considered for a solidification of castings? Option A, appearance. Option B, crystal structure. Option C, molding capacity. And option D, surface finish. 
So during the solidifications, the crystal structures of the castings materials is mainly considered along with its compositions at different parts of the castings. So the right answer is option B. Then next question. Non-destructive testings is used to determine option A, location of detects, option B, chemical compositions, option C, corrosion of metal, and option D, all of the above. So basically the non-destructive testing that will be used to determine a location of defects, chemical compositions and corrosion of the metals and you can also detect the surface subsurface defects porosity or you can say any kind of material defects so as per this questions the right answer is all of this so option d the next question which test is used to determine dimensions of any object so option a ultrasonic test option b torsion test option c eddy current test and option d all of these tests can be used to determine dimensions of any object. So basically the eddy current test that would be used to determine dimensional accuracy of an object. So right answer is option C. Which test can be performed without skilled labor? Option A, dye penetration testing. Option B, visual testing. Option C, ultrasonic testing and option D, magnetic particle test. So basically the dye penetration testings that will be performing without skill operator because the there will be the simple steps is being there and anyone can that will be used to determine the testings onto the materials. So that will be DPT that being used without skilled labor and in another like a visual testings and ultrasonic testings and magnetic particle testings the skill that will be the essential part for study about a microstructure so this is the simplest techniques dpt the next question a ductile material may have lack of option a compressive strength option b corrosion resistance option c tensile strength and option d bending strength so a ductile materials may have lack of tensile strength so the right answer is option c the next magnetic bond in is formed as a result of option a multi sharing of electrons option b local sharing of electrons option c transfer of electrons and option d none of the Evo. So basically the metallic bond is formed by the multiple sharing of the electrons. So option A that will be the right answer for these questions. The next, a brittle fracture generally shows which of the following fractured surface. So option A, granular surface, option B, smooth surface and option C, elongated surface and option D, none of the evo. So basically, in case of the brittle fracture, generally it shows granular fracture surface, where ductile fracture shows the rough fracture surface. So if you want to join these brittle fracture surface with each other, so that will be almost having a same dimensions as earlier. So after the fracture of that surface, it will be having a granular fractured surface so the right answer is option a the next thermal equilibrium diagrams are drawn by assuming which is a constant option a temperature option b composition option c pressure and option d all of the above so basically as thermal equilibrium diagrams having a three variables temperature compositions and pressure and for each and every diagrams always pressure remains constant so all that samples or you can say practicals that will be at constant pressure or you can say at one atmospheric pressure so the right answer is the thermal equilibrium diagrams are drawn by assuming a constant pressure so option c the next question why alloy is an alloy of option a nickel option b aluminium option c 
copper and option D magnesium. So basically the Y alloy is in category of aluminium alloy. So the right answer is option B aluminium. The next sintering is related to option A powder pressing, option B powder screening, option C impregnations and option D power powder heating. Then the sintering is basically related to a powder heating process. So with the help of sintering, it will be heated just below the melting point of the major constitutions. So that will be the temperature range or you can say just below of the melting point of the major constitutions. So that will be known as a right answer is option D, powder heating process. Then next question, ultrasonic testings cannot detect the defect which is oriented which to sound beam. Option A, perpendicular. Option B, parallel. Option C, at 45. And option D, none of the above. So basically, ultrasonic testings cannot detect the defects which is oriented at 45 degree to the sound beam. So that will be the major problems for finding the defect at these angles. So the right answer is option C. The next question. Hardness is a measure of which of the following? Option A, fracture strength. Option B, yield strength. Option C, toughness. And option D, ultimate strength. So basically, hardness is always measured with a ultimate strength. So that will be the right answer is D. The next question. Which of the following is correct statement for MPT? Option A, a crack in glass cannot be detected. Option B, a crack at subsurface can be detected. Option C, a crack open to the surface cannot be detected. And option D, a crack in ferrous materials cannot be detected. So, as from these questions, the magnetic particle testing is generally used to measure a crack at subsurface of the materials. So, that will be the right answer is option B. A crack at subsurface can be detected by magnetic particle testings. The next question. Babit metal is an alloy of option A, copper and zinc, option B, SN and Cu. Option C, SN, CU, SB, and PB, and option D, none of the above. So basically, the bobbit metal is an alloy of SN, copper, then SB, and PB. You can see lead. So that will be the right answer is option C. Then, last question which is the Hardest known materials. Option A, cemented carbide. Option B, ceramics. Option C, alloy steels. And option D, diamond. So we all know that diamond is the hardest materials. So the right answer is option D. So I hope you like this. So if you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.